Hello students, welcome to my math channel, Math Web. In this video, I will answer you question number 7 from 5th standard Excel A-level exam for pure math 3. This exam is taken in October 2024. Paper reference code is WMA13-01. The curve C has the equation y equals to f of x where f of x equals to x cube square root of 4x plus 7, x is greater than or equals to minus 7 or 4. First part, show that f prime x equals to kx square into 2x plus 3 divided by square root of 4x plus 7, where k is a constant to be found. This is very simple question, just you need to differentiate this function to get this result. Here we have two functions, one is x cube and other is 4x plus 7. So in this case, to differentiate when two functions are multiplying, we can apply a product rule. Derivative uh, of uh, these two products we can apply this formula keep u as is and we take the derivative of v plus we keep v as is and take the derivative of u it is the product rule so we can apply uh, this formula here to get this result first part f of x equals to x cube square root of 4x plus 7 We will differentiate this function and we will apply the product rule here. f prime x is equals to, we keep the, this function as is, x cube, and we will take the derivative of this function, the square root function. So we can write as 4x plus 7 power 1 over 2. Then we will keep 4x plus 7 square root as is and take the derivative of the first function, that is x cube. So this is the product rule. Here we can apply a power rule. Let me tell you formula for power rule. Derivative of uh, such function like f of x power n. This power becomes a multiple and we take away one power from the function. Okay. It is n minus 1. And under the power function is uh, differentiated again. It is the exact formula. Okay. You should memorize this one. Exactly like this, we will apply the formula on this function. Equals x cube and we will bring this power down it will be 1 over 2 take away 1 power from 1 over 2 it will be you know 1 over 2 minus 1 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2 so we will write minus 1 over 2 now under the power function is differentiated again according to that rule whenever you have other than x value we differentiate that function again so what is the derivative of this function we know that uh, derivative of this function is 4 because x is 1 4 multiply 1 is 4 and constant number is 0. So, we will write here 4. Hopefully, you understand from where I am taking this 4 here. Plus 4x plus 7 square root of this one and take the derivative of this one, it will be 3x square. To make it positive, this one, we will bring this function in the denominator. Okay. To make the power, because the power is negative, so if you bring it in the denominator, power becomes positive. This 2 and 4 will be cancelled out and we will write as 2x cube divided by 4x plus 7. 1 over 2 becomes positive. So, we can write here a square root. Positive 1 over 2 means square root plus 3x square square root of 4x plus 7. Now, take the LCM of these two fractions. Here, denominator is 1. We know the rule. Uh, the common denominator will be 4x plus 7 square root of this one. This will multiply over there and uh, this one multiply here. So, there is no difference. We will keep the same number here 2x cube plus 3x square right as is you know this is the square root these two values are same. So, it becomes the square when you two, two multiplies with same basis are multiplying the uh, we add the powers. So, we are multiplying these two values it becomes the square. This square and square root will be cancelled out and expand the bracket in the numerator. So, we will get the result as 2x cube plus 3x square will multiply with both numbers. We will get the answer 12x cube plus 21x square divided by 4x plus 7 square root of this value. These two terms are like terms, so we can solve them together. 12x cube plus 2x cube makes it 14x cube plus 21x square divided by 4x plus 7. We can factorize the numerator. Look at this numerator. Uh, there is something common in these two because 14 and 21, the common 
7 is the common number and also x square is common so you can keep 7 x square common from the numerator so it will be 7 x square into this left with 2 x plus and this will be 3 for sure and uh, denominator will be the same 4 x plus 7 square root of this one so it is exactly as required if you notice that uh, we need to prove this one we got the result 2x plus 3 inside the bracket and outside is kx square so here we got uh, the answer for k is 7 we can mention here where k equals to 7 so it is as required what is uh, what we need to prove so we got the result hope you understand it it is exactly as required first part of this question is done let's move on the point p shown in figure 3 is the minimum turning point this is the minimum turning point of this graph second part find the coordinates of p for turning points for stationary points okay or for minimum or for maximum we always uh, put the derivative equals to 0 we substitute the derivative 0 to get the turning points for turning point or minimum turning point we will put this derivative equals to 0 to get the coordinates of p second part for turning point we will put derivative equals to 0 f prime x will be equals to 0 so you this is the answer of the f prime so we will put this function this value equals to 0 7 x square into 2 x plus 3 divide by 4 x plus 7 square root of 4 x plus 7 equals to 0 this will multiply over there so it will be cancelled out implies that we can write here 7 x square into 2 x plus 3 equals to 0 this will multiply with 0 you get the result 0 now you have two factors one is 7 x square and other is 2 x plus 3 7 x square equals to 0 and 2 x plus 3 equals to 0 from here you get the answer x square equals to 0 x equals to 0 for sure okay but this is not the x coordinate of p look at the diagram this 0 is the point of inflection this one uh, p will be we will get the x coordinate of p from the other factor so this this factor will give us the coordinate x coordinate of p x will be equals to minus 3 over 2 this is the x coordinate of p but we need to find the y coordinate of p as well how to get it just uh, plug this value of x in the main function uh, what is our function let me write that function again we have this function if you substitute this value of uh, x in this function we will get the answer of y actually this f of x is y so we will substitute the value of x in this function let me write this function over there x cube square root of 4x plus 7 this f of x is y replace the value of x here we get we will get as minus 3 over 2 because it is a cube so we will write cube and uh, square root of 4 into minus 3 over 2 plus 7 actually this part is equals to 1 you know why it is 1 4 and 2 cancelled it is minus 6 plus 7 is 1 square root of 1 is 1 so solve this one only we will get the answer as minus 27 over 8 so this is the y coordinate of point p uh, what is our requirement you should write the both coordinates of point p so our point p will be equals to like that minus 3 over 2 and minus 27 over 8 so this is the requirement of part b we need to find the coordinates of point p hopefully you understand it let's move on to the next part of this question part c hence find the range of function g defined by g of x equals to minus 4 times f of x where x is greater than or equals to minus 7 over 4 actually there is a transformation uh, th this negative sign indicates that uh, the graph will be reflected and uh, 4 indicates that uh, there will be a vertical stretch first of all you should know about uh, reflection uh, let me give you a quick example like y equals to x square uh, you know the sketch of this it looks like this it looks like this this is the graph for y equals to x square and if there is a negative sign negative sign outside of this function 
this graph is reflected about x axis you understand it goes down before it opens upward now it is going down you know it is reflected about x axis so due to this negative sign f of x graph will be stretched four times also it is reflected for example p is here it is uh, four times if you multiply four so this graph stretch four times you know this p goes four times and also when because of negative sign uh, here p is the minimum point after reflection p becomes the maximum point so p at point p in the in that case when y equals to minus four times f of x g of x is maximum at point p so by using this fact what is given in the question we can find the range of this function for part c we have g of x equals minus 4 times f of x we can write here g of x is maximum you know why it is maximum because of negative sign is maximum at point p before without negative sign you know, it p was the minimum point but after negative sign p becomes the maximum point what is the maximum point here that is minus a over 2 minus 27 over 8 this point p at this point p g of x will be will have its maximum value so what is the value of x here substitute this value of x in this function we will get the result minus 3 over 2 g of minus 3 over 2 will be equals to minus 4 times f of minus 3 over 2 at f of minus 3 over 2 you know uh, this is the value of uh, the function this one actually this value is f of minus 3 over 2 if you plug this value in the main function minus 3 over 2 we will get this result for sure we already got this one okay in the previous part so instead of doing it again just multiply minus 4 with this function what is that minus 27 over 8 so g of x is at maximum point at this value minus 4 makes it positive so it will be positive 27 over 2 so g of x this is the maximum point for this transform graph g of x 27 over 2 is the maximum point again let's go back to the graph you know when p is minimum the graph is uh, going upward is approaching to positive infinity okay and when it is reflected when p is somewhere here because it is also four times we will be somewhere here okay suppose we already got the answer of g of x at minus 3 over 2 that was uh, this point is about 27 over 2 okay uh, along this one uh, p is here and uh, you know graph is going downwards yeah. it is approaching this way so maximum value is 27 over 2 and it is approaching to negative infinity got it maximum value for g of x is minus 27 over 2 positive 27 over 2 that we got it and it is approaching to negative infinity now after this transformation let's write the range there are two ways of writing the range you know we can we can mention here as the x approaching to infinity implies that g of x is approaching to negative infinity you know i showed you there so we can write the range range of g of x will be we can write as g of x is less than or equals to 27 over 2 this is the one way or the other way of writing this range is uh, because negative infinity never included we use the parentheses and uh, the maximum value for this function is 27 over 2 and we use a square bracket so this is the other way of writing the range i hope you understand how to find the range of this transform function the point q with coordinates 1 over 2 and 3 over 8 lies on c find the coordinates of point to which q is mapped when c is transformed to y equals to 40 into f of x minus 3 over 2 minus 8 this is the transformed function there is the different types of transformation in this function 40 means stretch there is a vertical stretch there is a horizontal stretch there is a vertical transformation as well okay so let me tell you how to solve or how to find the new coordinates of uh, q uh, due to this transformation let me write this function part d transform function uh, is given like this 40 
times f of x minus 3 over 2 minus 8. 40 means there is a vertical stretch. The graph is stretched vertically. Uh, x minus 3 over 2, whenever x minus 3 over 2, the same graph what is given in the question in the first part is uh, transformed horizontally. There is a word horizontal stretch. If there is a minus 3 over 2 sign, it means uh, it is going right side. Okay. If it is plus here, it is going left side. And something is uh, subtracted from the function. So there is a vertical transformation. What is given? Q lies on the main function, lies on curve C. That is 1 over 2, 3 over 8. It lies on C. And this is the transformed function. Value of x uh, of q, if you substitute over here, if we replace this value with 1 over 2, we will get the x coordinate of transform point. q will be transformed after this transformation. Okay, uh, Replace x minus 3 over 2 with 1 over 2. So we will get the x coordinate from here. It will be added to the other side. It will be 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. And answer of x coordinate of uh, the mapped point will be equals to uh, this will be 4 over 2, it will be 2. Okay. The y coordinate of map point by using these values because this value is replaced with 1 over 2 minus 8, and we know that the value of f of 1 over 2 will be 3 over 8 for sure. f of 1 over 2 will be 3 over 8. So substitute that value to find the y coordinate of transform point 40 into 3 over 8 minus 8 y will be equals to this is cancelled out 5 5 multiplied 3 15 minus 8 will be 7 therefore transform point transform point will be equals to 2 and 7 so this is the answer of the last part of this question hopefully you understand the last part as well Still, if you have any doubt or you want to write any comment about this question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.